Hello, this is Yogesh for 7000 again, and I'm back on my series on Saturn transits 2017. And as we know, that Saturn transit is a very important transit because uh, it stays in one zodiac sign for approximately two and a half years. But this time it's going to be a little special because it's going to be jumping uh, back and forth from Scorpio into Sagittarius and then coming back to Scorpio and then going back into Sagittarius. So the whole impact is going to be felt for the next 36 months instead of the 30 months which we normally take into consideration. And uh, Saturn will finally move into Capricorn in January of 2020 so like I said you know the impact is going to be for 36 months so it makes this transit even more special more important so as we know that on January the 26th 2017 Saturn will be moving from the zodiac sign of Scorpio into Sagittarius so of course it's going to be a big relief for Aries moon sign people because it's going to be moving from its eighth sign from the natal moon into the ninth sign from natal moon and of course it's not a great placement as well but it's much much better than what it would be had it been sitting in the eighth house from the moon so there's a slight relief but not really because it's still going to be challenging but uh, today we'll be talking about the Taurus moon sign people so you can see the number two here on the screen this does not mean that it's the Lagna Taurus we're discussing we're discussing the Taurus moon sign people meaning which in case moon is placed in the number where it's written to or moon is placed in the zodiac sign of Taurus at the time of your birth or in other words moon was exalted at the time of your birth okay so anybody who's in whose chart moon is placed in where it's written number two at the time of birth or if he understands a little more astrology if it's it's sitting in the zodiac sign of Taurus which is its exaltation sign this video is for him or her now I just want to make a layer I just want to make a real quick clarification that we are not considering transits from the ascendant okay so people whose ascendant is Taurus this video is not for you because Gochira or transits as per the ancient scriptures should be mostly considered from the moon that's one and of course as per the ancient scriptures gochara or transits are considered from the ascendant as well but the rules are different so we are talking about the moon sign of taurus people or taurus moon sign people rather okay so i may make another video where we'll discuss transits from the ascendants and based on the rules given by the ancient scriptures but today it's purely the moon sign of Taurus people so here as you can see on the screen that the planet Saturn is moving away from their seventh house into the eighth house and whenever Saturn sits in the eighth house from the natal moon that is a very very inauspicious time we know that the scriptures describe that and we've experienced that while doing our analysis of charts and this is called some people call it ashtam shani some people call it ashtak shani so whenever saturn is eighth from the moon it is a tough very tough period just like whenever the planet saturn comes from comes to fourth from the natal moon that's also or transits through fourth from the natal moon that's a tough time just like we are seeing here eighth from the natal moon is a tough time that's some people even call it dhaya because it stays there for two and a half years ashtak shani ashtam shani dhaya whatever you call it so i'm sorry to say that this is not a great transit for people with Taurus moon sign people but at the same time I will tell you not to be discouraged because what you should see is 
transits of other good planets which also stay in your birth chart for a or which planets which stay in a zodiac sign for a long time just for example Jupiter so you should look at what how Jupiter is affecting you as well before to a final coming before coming to a final conclusion that yes this tran transit is going to be difficult for you so more or less look at all the other transits more importantly Jupiter because that planet also stays in a zodiac sign for a long time and if that transit is good for you then much of the difficulties of this Saturn transit for Taurus moon sign people can be balanced to a great extent also look at the dashas so in the dashas or periods operating of the planets as per the Vimshotri Dasha which we generally use if they are favorable to you then also many of the difficult or many of the difficulties faced or what the Taurus moon sign people will be facing because of this Saturn transit into Sagittarius which is eighth from its natal moon can be balanced to some extent and of course you know if that Dasha also is bad for you then this added negative thing can be a little difficult but generally I've seen that you know if a transit is difficult for somebody you know some Dasha will be good or if a transit is difficult for somebody that another transit may be favorable because you know it generally you know it balances out to a great extent but speaking purely of Saturn this is going to be a very very tough transit for Taurus moon sign people so how is it going to affect Taurus moon sign people in terms of profession and um, finance it's going to hit most because as you see that you know third from the eighth it's got its full aspect on the house of profession it'll be very very difficult you will have a very uh, difficult time at work and uh, you may not be rewarded well and um, you know there could be issues where you can lose uh, some kind of um, a grace or uh, you know your reputation may be at stake at your workplace so be very very careful about that uh, of course you know it's not in our hands we try our best but sometimes you know you can be a, a little less aggressive at work you know just be quiet at work do not uh, you know mess with people at work that is going to help you in the next 36 months Taurus moon sign people okay as far as your relationships with uh, your you know girlfriend or the wife and love matters are concerned that also generally it is seen that in Ashtakshani or when Saturn is placed eighth from its moon sign as we are seeing here it's going to happen for Taurus moon sign people that's a very tough time you know there could be a breakup with the spouse as well they've been seen but then once again look at the other transits look at the dashas and then come to a conclusion okay so then again you have to be very careful you have to be calm you have to be quiet you have to you know try to make maintain a cordial relationship with your spouse or your girlfriend and any kind of a relationship uh, romantic relationship especially and then try to manage it that way and of course there are remedies but I'm not going to put remedies here because the remedies are very specific to your birth chart no general remedies Vedic remedies should be followed and has to be done under under the guidance of an expert Vedic astrologer or a scholar so that uh, we've seen profession uh, difficult time relationship with your marital partner difficult time both these things are going to be difficult for Taurus moon sign people and also in terms of finances because um, Ashtakshani is looking directly at the second house of your finances and of course family it's going to be you know casting a very uh, inauspicious aspect on the second house which means that there could be problems uh, faced in that particular area of finances so be very careful so how do you be how, how can you be careful but well, don't go into any kind of a speculative activity just don't go and overspend your money try to save your money you know as much as you can and uh, just be a little conservative when it comes to money and spending money is concerned 
now also eighth house is a house of longevity although in the natal chart generally it is believed that saturn in the eighth house is you know gives long life but as far as you know health and longevity is concerned as far as saturn transit is concerned from the natal moon the eighth house is not a great place to be in so be very careful how are you going to be careful well try to do exercises you know eat well you know sleep well go out for many vacations you know take good breaks uh, you know take good care of your body because health matters also will uh, be affected in this transit for Taurus moon sign people and uh, as far as um, other things are concerned in general this is going to be a tough time so it'll it's going to affect all the 12 houses but more specifically to areas of profession areas of wealth and family areas of health and longevity so hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, in the meanwhile i will recommend subscribe to my channel and check out my website there is a link below and i'll see you with an interesting topic on vedic astrology very soon bye